telling you an Aboriginal story. Now first when I heard this, I thought, it's so boring. So I thought I could make it a bit more interesting. Now, I'm going to... Now when I've been run, wandering in the woods, yesterday, I've been going through with poor boys hunting for Tucker, and I tell him, how about we get twice as much hunting if when you go, I look after you, yours and my's, my, ba my baby, and you look after my and your baby when I go. So we agreed. He looked after mine and his, and then I looked off. I looked at mine when I was looking after his, and I looked like a little ugly frog and I looked at his and I was like oh my gosh I want to get a fan look like Selena Gomez and then I and then I told him the story and he went ballistics he broke my arms off so I got so angry I had to whack a hole through his head with a stick and then he went off we were never friends again to this day he threw my ugly little white frog looking kangaroo into the bush and it actually turned from this day in the palm trees is lurking near that tree an ugly little white frog a real one and I'm not joking I'm looking through with the baby well I can't really hold it because my arms kept crawling away I've been spying in the leaves on him and he's swimming around going, oh, look at me. I've got a hole through my head. Squirting water out of it. Oh, look at me. I'm so happy. I've got a hole through my head. And I disgusted him. And the baby, unfortunately, ran away because I couldn't catch it without my arms. At least he didn't break my feet. Maybe next time he'll forget about it. Will he?